Podcast last year with Diane that I do a quick update video. Life is life. Kind of just doing whatever we need to do. Um, although, this is my floss tube channel. Talk about cross stitch. Throw that out there. Um, we had to get our car fixed. Just a recall thingy. There are two people in the place my husband and the customers. And she coughed on him. What? Really? At this time? And my husband's autoimmune compromised. Get so much as a sniffle, they're going to hear from me. Aside from that, there's really not much else going on. I went grocery shopping again today. That's becoming quite interesting. So one week they'll have this in stock, and then the next week they'll have this in stock. So you're trying to plan ahead. And I know some people thought I was hoarding, but I'm like, you know what? This is my regular grocery. <laughs> anyway, it is what it is. Enough of that. I have a little bit of everything, I think, except new starts. I haven't started anything new. FFO. This was a piece I stitched probably 2015. Um, the designer, there's six parts, so the designer gave you the first part, each part separate. And if you post it on Instagram, the progress of your first piece, I don't remember if it had to be 100% finished or just your progress. Then you got the next part and the next part. So it was a free thing. And it's on 16 count daffodil Ada, which is a really light yellow. Don't remember why I had it. I just had it in my stash. It's stitched with Mosel cottons. Although I did throw a little Krennic in there just to give it a little sparkle on the umbrella and on these uh, pennants. But it was done and it was sitting there and so I mounted it on this board. I got Hobby Lobby, paint, uh, spray painted it silver, mounted it, and this is a uh, necklace of shells. And you couldn't just buy one, even though I only needed one. So I twisted those together to make the hanger because you could see there was a twine hanger in there, and I pulled that out. Still my hot glue. In order for this to stay, um, you put Aline's craft glue down and then you go around that with hot glue because you get the permanence of the Aline's and the instant of the hot glue and then it lasts. So this is how I'm going to hang it. And I just threw uh, two shells on there. So that one is a, a an FFO. So finally got it done. Um, last week was 50s and 60s here. It was just cool. And so I got some picture frames out that I've been holding on because I need to paint them. I don't like the color that they are, and I'm going to paint them before I mount whatever I'm mounting in them. And this week it's 20s and 30s and snow. It's April in Minnesota. Not much else you can say. Haul. Oh, my fabric of the month from Fiberlicious. This is called Singing in the Rain. And I get 32 count linen. It's really pretty. I have this in a full fat quarter. Not sure what to stitch on that. I received Consider the Lilies, Heart String Samplery, and Seeking Refuge, Scarlet House. Two Martini Stitcher, I think, is stitching this, if I remember right. A, a number of people are stitching it, but I know she mentioned it. So now I think when I'm going to do those, I have no idea. I bought my daughter the Heaven and Earth pattern that I mentioned. Oh, I have to lost her off. Um, and I will link it below because it's called Dreamer and it's by Nadia. I don't know what the last name is. I believe it begins with an S. If you're interested in knowing what one she bought, she bought the regular size, regular amount of colors. And I had to order her a yard of fabric. So she got that yesterday. And we went through my DMC, her DMC, to figure out what we have, what we need. And one of the colors she needs, 19 skeins. Yeah. And I, I thought I looked on Amazon. I don't think that's a cone. I don't think Joanne's has it on cone. Okay, why does Joanne's Floss website have only 35 DMC colors and they're listed 
by color name and not number. There's over 430 colors of DMC. I, I, anyway. Because I know that the the Joann's nearest me does the curbside thing. And I could order and then just... But of course, those aren't the numbers I need or colors I need. The ones that are listed on the website. I'm pretty sure I could call the store and they would do it for me, but I'll worry about it then. Finish. I have a finish. And I think I put the pattern away. I think I did. Zelda. Mirabilia. And here she is. This is 32 count Thornhaven hand dyed by Stephanie. Isn't she pretty? And she's blingy. These are all beads through here, down in here. And these tassels over here on the cushions. Beads. 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 Yep. Now, I did a video. I recorded a video. It's sitting on YouTube right now waiting for me to public release it. Where I walk through my color conversion. Because originally she's in pinks. I changed them to purples. Um, and in the video... In the description box, there are four groups on, well, maybe five, four or five groups on Facebook. It is my PDF of the colors I used for what is in the file section of those groups. Stitch Mania is one of them. Mira Mira on the Wall. Mira Madness. And Mira Nora Conversions. But I, I have it linked in, the, in that video's description box. Which will be video number 114. This is video 113. I also, uh, through that video, I literally walk through, okay, this is the original, this is what I used. This is the original, this is what I used. In case you don't have access to Facebook, and then you could pause the video and write it down. Um, but PDF, it should be useful for any kind of word processing. So, she is done. And I also do some close-up looks at the stitching, so you can really see the bling, because it's not, it's not quite sparkly enough for the bling with this particular light. Um, and I use the silk through here, so there's a lot of shine and sparkle through there too. So if you want to know more about her and my color conversion, watch that video. That's all that video is going to be about. So when she was done, or when she was almost done, I was trying to figure out what I should stitch next. I toyed with the idea of a new start, but I decided not to. So um, there was a piece that was calling to me, and she was not originally on my 2020 list, but since she's a Mira, what I did is I just subbed her out for a Mira that was on my list. And so I, this is the one I've been stitching on the most recently. And then when she's done, um, I just, I'll go with whatever calls to me at this point. Um, on my list, I have 42 pieces I want to stitch on this year. And Zelda is number four that is finished. Zelda was started January 1st, 2020. And she's finished April 4th, I think. And it'll be easier just to show the picture. Venetian Opulence, Mirabilia. She was started January 1st, 2015. So I had all the arch done up here. I do not have the metallic in her hair or the feather done. Um, she did not have back stitching. She has it now. I didn't have the fan quite done, but it's done now. And I had probably about that much of the skirt done. So that is what I'm working on is the skirt. And what is this stitched on? This is stitched on 32 count. I think it's Jobelin. Jobelin. Water Lily is the color. And I'm using all the called for colors for this one. And I also have the call for beads when I get that far. 
Okay, let me try and get her so you guys can see her better. I think I need to just put a clip down each side. Hold, please, while I make an adjustment. There we go. There she is. So I've added all the back stitching. Now she has a face. She's a beautiful face. The only thing I changed is she had three fingers, and so I threw another line in there for four. Um, the fan is done, and I finished this ribbon here. So everything open, or these open spaces, um, except this part, this part will be metallic. I just haven't been in the mood to put metallic in there. But there are open spots up here for beads, 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 beads. She does not have as many beads as Zelda, but she's Amira, so she's got a lot of bling. This is where she's at. So I've been able to add more down here and really fill in a, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of detail here. And so I just need to, this is as far over as her skirt goes, as far down. So I've got a lot, yeah, several thousand stitches there because this is full coverage. And so she is getting done. It'd be nice to have her done by the end of the month. I don't know if that's going to be possible, but you never know. Yep. So a lot of color changes because there's a lot of purple here. This is a red, and then she's got purple, and then green, and this blue. I'm, I think I'm done with the blue, but purple, purple, and then all the gold at the bottom. So yeah. A lot of detail in her. So, and she's a good size. I mean, she's not wide, but she's very tall. So, that's the one I've been stitching on the most. And just keep working forward on her. Oh, she's laying so wonky. She looks a lot flatter when I'm stitching on her. Oh well, doesn't matter. Um. But yeah, she's the one I've been stitching on the most, and I'm not sure what's calling to me to work on next. Maybe a new start? I don't know. I have several things kitted up, but we will see. But um, that's really what I have for you today. I do want to say, if you are in the Stitch From Stash group, Stephanie has changed it for April, May, and June, that there are three ways you can participate. I brought up the fact that we want our uh, brick and mortar LNSs to be open when this is all said and done. So maybe we can increase our budgets th with that in mind. And um, what she decided to do is there are three options. One, you can double your budget. That's what I t I'm choosing to do. So instead of 25 a month, I have 50 a month that I can spend. I don't have to, but I can. And then uh, get finishes like Zelda and get credit. So it increases how, the amount you can spend if you choose to. Number two is you can kind of make a holiday with the idea in mind, not to go gangbusters, but the idea in mind that you would continue to support your LNS. You continue to support the designers, the hand dyers to keep our industry going. And three is you can just leave everything as it is if you're in the group. Um, I don't think you can join now. You can join J uh, July 1st. It will be the next official sign up thing if you're interested in the group. I'll link it below. Follow the rules. It's easy. And you have to realize there really there's no big pot of money. When I say I'm giving myself credit, I am giving myself credit. I am not. Stephanie's not writing me a check or anything like that. No. Um, it's to motivate you. You're really competing against yourself. You're keeping yourself accountable. And that's always good. That's always good. We always need that accountability. Um, but yeah, that's all I have. So it's a short and sweet video. Next video will be whenever. I still have a couple of things that I've ordered um, that haven't come in. But uh, when they get here, they'll get here, and I'll just keep stitching. 
and you can follow me on Instagram, mon.stitches. You can follow me on, or my email is mon.stitches at gmail.com. Yeah. So that's all I have. I hope you're all doing well. We are doing well. I'm getting a little stir crazy, and I th honestly, I think it's mostly because of the weather. Um, my plan is I want to paint the walls of my house on the inside. And I thought, okay, now I can do it. And then the weather changed. It always does in Minnesota. Always. Um, but I, I don't do gardens because I really have a black thumb. And I never plant anything when I did gardens before Mother's Day because it's Minnesota. But I, hopefully you can enjoy the weather as it warms up here in the States that you can, you know, air out the house, get the fresh air going. I firm believer that that helps with any illness and just freshens everything up. Hopefully, it's supposed to be 60 this coming weekend. So hopefully this is the last of the 30s and 20s that we will see for a while here in Minnesota. But again, it's Minnesota. There's no, never a guarantee. So I'll let y'all go. Um, I'll link some so I linked the, the Heaven and Earth design pattern, and I bought myself the black, uh, not the black dragon, the blue dragon. And I'll also link the group, and I will link some floss tubers I've been watching, in case you are interested in other floss tubers. It's up to you. But I'll let y'all go, and talk to you soon. Love to y'all. Bye.